my brother, His Excellency, Dr. Helonzo Musioka, even to offer greetings. Much has been said. You are not being asked for much. Just greetings. Asante. Asante. You've done it so well. I, I didn't want to, to add anything because um, our brother Raila put it so well, so eloquently. I think this has been actually a learning experience for a lot of us. And I want to thank our Economic Council team. Now Kenyans know the difference between zero rating and exemption. And that is where the big lie is. And I think that has been unpacked, thanks to Honorable Bandi and, and the colleagues. Uh, last Sunday I was in a church somewhere in Nathi River, in Mulolongo. And uh, I spoke about uh, the skepticism at my level with people wanting to rush to court. Uh, everybody is within their rights to rush to court, but we have also heard from our sister Caroline Karugu on, on the provisions of uh, Article 48. Uh, my brother, um, who is also a very good friend, Wajakoya, will probably agree, and mother, um, in denying people access to justice as unconstitutional. So, some people rushed and said Kalonzo is supporting the finance bill. Uh, my, my media team did a very good job uh, of that disinformation. So you can see the level of panic. Uh, people are panicked because they're doing the wrong things. Um, so as I said, uh, we are ready to go. Our teams are very well. Uh, a leader in parliament is here, a leader in the National Assembly. And the leaders, uh, of course, the matter is not going to the Senate, so it's all National Assembly. So uh, Wandai and the teams, I'm sure you're equal to the task. Um, you want me to call uh, some other friend? Uh, yeah, I'll probably call my brother, Governor Iria, who has lived through this. But before you come, Iria, it appears to me, over and above all this, <laughs> taxation, there's also the Kanjus. <laughs> you know, the county governments are also doing their own taxation. Uh, so look at it. We, uh, that's why I said you cannot develop an economy this way. And those who have been following even the debate on debt ceiling, for me, I find that completely unacceptable. The issue about debt ceiling uh, had to get President Joe Biden leave... Uh, the G20 or the G7 summit in Hiroshima in Tokyo to go back and, and make peace and argue and agree with the House Speaker of Congress because America was at the verge of breaching, <laughs> uh, breaching even the debt ceiling thing. So this debt ceiling matter cannot be hidden. It must be brought to the fore so that uh, Kenyans will know you cannot, you cannot, you cannot uh, extend the debt ceiling without the full involvement discussion of the of, of parliament so the hiding it under some funny uh, closer we just been told i don't know who, who made that presentation uh, um, that uh, the cabinet secretary responsible for finance can just go and lay on the table some some information and then the country then assumes that all is well. So I think in a nutshell, we are in a crisis and we need to be able to accept that uh, this is a crisis matter. And, and then as my brother said, the conclusion was very clear. We give it to the public court. I don't know whether it's you, Kioni, Kioni or Wanjokoya or Mwangi. Mwangi had stood. Uh, as I said, I have nothing useful to add. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was muttering around. But I hope I've managed to clear some issues. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, uh, from a broader sense, we need to look at this budget vis-a-vis uh, -vis the commitments which uh, Kenya Kwanzaa gave to Kenyans.